forget the feeling. People are incapable of not caring. I know we're running out of time. But I'll take the mail on this one. I kn I know that we I know that we can do better. I know that we can do better, and this is a film that's a testament to it. So the makeup is stunning, and there's so much preparation and effort that went into making it look just right. But Brendan, what was it like when you first stepped on set? How did you feel about yourself? How did you feel about other people reacting to you? The test was done uh, early on before we shot, and it took six hours to get into. That was just the test. Now, if we didn't get the makeup authentic, then I guess Darren said, we don't have a movie. So there was a lot of hinging on that. Adrian Moreau did an amazing job. It's what he does. Um, he had complete control over it, given that he used digital procedures to create the, apparat the ap applications. So he, he could, down to the size and pinpointing of moles, everything. It was appropriately cumbersome, should be. The mandate was that it was a costume that would obey physics, gravity, to differentiate it from all the films that we've seen over the years that really just cut a silhouette around a more or less athletic actor and it was often you know used as some sort of pejorative joke or a uh, one note gag or you know this is not that this is a person this is a person living with obesity and his mental health his physical health is threatened as a result his pursuit of authenticity is who he is as a person and the people who come through this two-bedroom apartment all in search of salvation all have an opinion about who he is by how he presents. So we had to get the makeup right. And I, I firmly believe that we did. Um, how did it feel? Well, when it was going on and Darren leaned over my shoulder and he went, for the rest of your life, <laughs> is what he said to me. And I took that to mean, own it, live in this, accept it, be this guy, dispense with whatever your notions of beauty and all of that put that aside and live live the role let him be a man people are amazing in reading the script i always knew that it was about a larger person and so that wasn't the thing that was uh, going to surprise me what did surprise me was the internal transformation that brendan went through what he did at our very first table read and throughout the three weeks of rehearsal was so different than what I saw on on set, and it, it was just something that that astounded me and, and inspires me as an actor to to witness. It's it's kind of why you keep doing this is is to get to witness transformations like that. Sadie, first seeing Brendan, did that affect your performance? I think just kind of feeding off of Brendan's energy and that shift that we all saw him experience. Like Hong said, it was just so inspiring, and then it just made everything feel like okay, we're in it, like, this is real. So it took like a NASCAR pit crew to create Charlie. Yeah. You know, there were tubes coming out of my back yeah. to keep me circulated, cool, um, you know, all of that, all of that. And that also, you know, begged the necessity to change the rhythm of way you shoot films. And since, you know, the advent of digital and we kind of dispense with, you know, magazines of film, where there's a, like a natural pause in between setups, etc. With digital, you can keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. But it meant that there had to be built-in breaks in how we did the scene work. And they were ever patient about what it took to just basically touch me up. If the shirt was doing, it was in its own movie that morning or whatever, you know, it was constantly, and it can take you out of the reality of what you're doing. Look, as long as we all believe that this was Charlie, then our audience will too. He's on the receiving end of so many harsh truths, you know? Tough love that's meant to help, but sometimes it really cuts deep. What was it like just day after day having to dish out these harsh truths, you know, line after line? Was that a challenge? Was it, was it a heavy process? Well, I think it's about finding the love and the truth in, in the relationship. They have so much history between them, Liz and Charlie. And I think if um, if it's easy for you to say no to somebody or, or to, to cut yourself off from them because they're behaving in a way that you don't think is right, then that relationship isn't very deep. So if you're, if you're in a, a truly loving and, and profound relationship with somebody, you bend for them, you uh, may be a bed in some of uh, what, what's considered bad or, or harmful behavior and it's not, 
you know, out of uh, not caring. Yeah, malice or anything like yeah. that. It's, theirs is a really complicated relationship, yeah, given tough. that Char Charlie Charlie needs what he needs. She knows he needs what he needs, and he, the, when when he just says her name and then she brings him food, yeah. it it's really it's it's quite moving, and that also def expresses the dynamic of him placing her in a very awkward position of being an enabler of sorts and her having to make a decision to not chasten him yet again about something that he knows is against his own best interest etc but that we could believe in it i think is also a testament to how well this was written um sam's always been Sam, Sam Hunter, our writer, was, has, has said it time and again, I'll repeat it, he says, this is a story about hard-won hope. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to work to earn it. And we might not succeed by story's end. We don't know that. That's, that's the breathlessness of watching this movie that I find. But I do know that you're going to feel differently about whatever you walked in the door with, whatever preconceived notion you had, it will change by the time the credits show. Yeah, and most audiences will be in tears as well when they've gone on that journey. And they, they might not know why. Yeah. And it, that's not important that they do know why, but it, it, it's a step forward. And I think we, I know we're running out of time, but I know we've got, I'll take the mail on this one. I, kn <laughs> I, know, that we, I know that we can do better. I know that we can do better. And this is a film that's a testament to it. Thank you. Thank you.